We think we've got it. We think we know how to connect our Victron BMV monitor to our DC to DC Redark charger. So if you remember from our last video, we were trying to connect the Redux charger and we successfully connected the Redux charger to be able to charge our batteries from the alternator, but we couldn't connect it to our battery monitor, which is kind of a bummer because we need that, especially since we have two other possible charging sources that may influence the state of charge of our battery. So connecting to the BMV is very important, but we couldn't find out how. And I kid you not, we spent two days on the phone trying to talk to experts who eventually said we're not really experts in 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 that um so maybe call the other company <laughs> um so we got them to tell us they're not experts and to beg us to go away <laughs> but honestly the question we're asking is not that out of the ordinary we have a charger that charges batteries and we need to track the state of charge so it's not something like we've cooked up something weird and they, don't, they shouldn't know how to do it or whatever. So after all of that and since uh, our last video release, a lot of you have reached out to us and given some excellent advice and we actually managed to get somebody on the phone and had a comprehensive conversation with them who had actually worked with the monitor and the DC-DC charger and they actually knew what to do as well. So by cross-referencing all of the advice that we got, we're going to be ungrounding everything that we did in the last video and we're going to be connecting the DC to DC back to the shunt and then grounding the shunt. So let's go try that. And before we start, as usual guys, we're not professional electricians. This is by no means a tutorial of how to do any of these uh, uh, technical things. This is just our journey of how we are figuring it out and how we are learning. We need to all do our own research for our own setups because you see we change one component and now it requires a completely different wiring path. So please, please do your own research, speak to professional electricians, have a professional check your uh, DIY efforts to make sure that you're safe. And if you're not at all comfortable with electrics, you can outsource the work completely, okay? It's absolutely fine. So at the moment, we've got our DC to DC charger wired up as per the manufacturer's wiring diagram. This one right here that came with the charger. So our batteries go to ground and also our DC charger goes to ground, but neither of them go to the shunt, to the load side of the shunt, which is how the BMV measures how much ampage is going through the shunt so it can calculate. So last video we tried connecting our DC charger to the load side of the shunt, however we got a negative ampage reading when we tried to charge the batteries. So we wired everything back to the manufacturer's specifications wiring diagram and we rang around. For two days and eventually we spoke to a very helpful guy who knew exactly the situation we were in and he told us what we needed to do. The DC charger's negative has to go to the negative side of the shunt. What we also need to do is run a cable from the load side of the shunt to ground. So since the van battery's negative is connected to ground this DC charger has to have a ground point path for that circuit to be complete. However, he said you do not want to ground the batteries to the chassis because this creates a shortcut and that means that the BMV won't work. And he actually said that it will produce a negative ampage draw on the BMV display, which is exactly what we got. And you know that moment where you get someone who explains the exact problem that you're having without you needing to explain it first. You're just like, you understand me. So thumbs up to him and we will now try his recommendation and fingers crossed this will work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this negative and the ground yep. that we have because we don't need the ground on this terminal anymore. And then we'll need to disconnect the load of the BMV. So this is our load side and we need to attach that to that. So that's the negative. That's this is the, the negative of the DC which mm -hmm. needs to go to the load side of the shunt so the BMV can measure everything. So this was our original grounding cable. Yeah. And we basically need to shorten this and put the right eyelets on it so we can run it from here to our grounding point. Right, I've just reconnect everything onto the bolt. Three, four, 
five, six. That is one tough cookie. There we go. Let's ground it. Okay, so what's happened is we've uh, transferred the blackboard onto here. So we have the negative from the battery, as usual, coming to the battery terminal of the shunt. This one is the negative of the of the DC DC charger, also coming to the load side of the shunt, like all the other negatives from the other boxes and the fuse box here. And this cable right here is our uh, ground cable coming from the shunt load, going to our ground point here. And that should complete the circuit for the uh, DC to DC charger to actually power and charge. So now we need to reset the BMV, make sure that uh, uh, we're at 100% uh, state of charge, and now we'll reset everything, and then discharge from that point onwards, and then we're gonna try and charge just with the DC to DC charger. Again, let's, let's go. Okay, so, test number... 57. <laughs> 1000 and whatever. Um, okay, so the state of charge of our batteries right now is 98.3%. Now, what we are hoping is going to happen is we're going to see a, a voltage increase and positive amps going into the batteries. Engine on. Okay, give it some juice. Okay. Bluetooth connected. So I'll give it some juice. Oh, there. Positive. They're positive. positive. That's positive. Yes! <laughs> ah. Let's go for a drive. Lights on. Let's go. Everything good? I think so, yeah. 29 amps. Yeah. Let's just get over that hill. There we go. How are we doing? Cl climbing. How many amps? Uh, 41, 40. Yes. Yeah. Assuming it can raise to 50 when, when you're going a bit faster. Yeah, so the voltage has gone up. Yep, it's gone up. And the amperage has gone up. Yes! Well, that's an improvement yep. from last time. We can also see consumed amp hours are going down. It was at minus 3.6 when we started. Yep. Because they're being charged. See, minus 3.1 now. Yep. This is what we want. We knew it was possible. <laughs> Mate. It's like basic stuff if this battery monitoring comes. It just, it's just all the wires have to be in exactly the correct location. I'm really glad this worked because I have no idea <laughs> how, how, how we would have proceeded from here. Nope. I mean, I didn't know what to do last time it didn't work either, but <laughs> you know, you, you just want things to work. We've already spent two, three days more on this than we were planning, so. But the important thing is now that it works. And I'm curious to see when it gets to 100% state of charge, what happens with the amps. Well, they probably drop. They go, go to float and drop, probably. Okay, we're starting to drop now. I think we're going to float. We've Wait. only got half an amp hour to recharge them. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. We're still dropping. What are we at now? Uh, we are pumping in 3.6 amps and we're, we only have um, 0 0.1 amp hours to recharge. Okay, well, our daily trip to screw fix. Let's go grab what we need. Is there even a car park spot for us? Uh, it's a bit full. Oh, we're, we're negative amps now. We're no longer charging. We say 100%, so, the, so now it's just the power that the monitor itself takes and then you have the other boxes plugged in. Now just turn the engine off. Yep. Okay. Success. Okay, I'm really happy with this result. Yep, 99.9%. Yep, that, so that's where I sort of left it. I don't know whether that's standard or whatever, but... I'm sure if I'm, we run the van enough, it will go up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy with that. That's really good. So as I said in last week's video, in next week's video, we're going to be showing you uh, how we, we set up our uh, BMV to be able to, you know, calculate correctly. Thank you so much for joining us on this uh, little experiment and um, hope we see you next time.